Hello guys, today I'll be going over some achievements, namely Heads Oasis achievements. These can be found in the exploration category and there is 12 total. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started with number 1. First being back in my day, an achievement obtained when you threw a coin in the bubbling water spot, which can be found on southeast corner of Heads Oasis, as you can see. Completing this will also unlock the Stake Master title. Next up is Fruit Glorious Fruit. This is an achievement obtained by giving Frito a coconut by using it on him. Do note you need to croc speak amulet or a cramlet in order for him to or open the dialogue. Third would be God of the Grind. God of the Grind will be obtained as soon as you completely restore the statue of Head in the middle of the oasis. This requires a total of 200 pieces of Head. Uh, and can be done in 4 stages, 50 each. Do note that uh, block modifiers do apply in order to obtain the pieces. The pieces are obtained whenever you're scaling around the oasis. Next up we have golden fingers. Golden fingers will be obtained when you get a golden rose from a flower bush. This can be done on any flower bush. There is 6 on the map and uh, it's a random chance so don't give up too early, because it can take a while, but just keep going and you'll find one, eventually. Number 5 will be Overpowdered. Overpowdered will be obtained as soon as you are under the effects of all 6 prayer powders. Prayer powders are obtained by grinding the new whirly gigs. The whirly gigs are obtained by attracting them with flowers around the pond. And of course looting the scarabs from the ground. As soon as you do that, you can grind it up and get a prayer powder. If you use all of them at the same time, you will get these achievements. Then we have primitive technology, which is completed as soon as you bring water to the water filtration system. First off, you have to build the water filtration system. In order to do this, you need 5 bronze bars, 2 silver bars, 6 buckets of sand and 1 big fishing net. As soon as it's built, you can just use a bucket of water on it uh, to complete the achievement. Make sure to go through the entire dialogue, otherwise you will not get the completion. Next up is Crocodile Hunter. In order to complete this achievement, you will have to unlock all the bonuses from Dundee's shop. Basically, this means you will have to catch up to 5k scarabs or whirly gigs in the oasis. The stacked ones also count, so whenever you're hunting one with your crocodile, you can click 3 more in order to stack them. Approximately 1k whirly gigs can be clicked per hour, which means you will take around 5 hours for this achievement alone. Take note, it takes a while, it is kawaii tedious, but it's rewarding in the end. Next up is this gnome is on fire. To complete this you need to give extra spicy crunchies to Dundee. Do note the pre-made spicy crunchies will not work for this achievement. You must make your own. You can buy all ingredients by Hudo at the Grand Tree. Buy some crunchy tray Giando, 2 times equal leaves and a gnome spice. First use the dough on the tray to get raw crunchies, then cook the raw crunchies on a range to get half-baked crunchy, prepare the half-baked crunchy to get half-made spicy crunchy, cook it on a range again to get unfinished spicy crunchy, and then add gnome spice to get spicy crunchies, add the spices again in order to get the extra spicy crunchies. As soon as you have it prepared, go back to Dundee and use them on him. Number 9 is top of the food chain. Uh, for this achievement we will be feeding a baby troll to Cheeto by using a baby troll on Cheeto. If you lost your baby troll you can get one back in Burforb. Do note in order to speak to Cheeto you will require your croc speak amulet or cramlet again. Number 10 will be vegan unfriendly uh, which requires you to feed all the crocodiles in the oasis. Now take note the steaks need to be cooked which is weird to me but it's how it is. You again need your Kremlet or Crocspeak Amulet for this achievement and you need 8 steaks in total as a couple of crocodiles will refuse to eat it or at least kindly decline the cooked steaks. For the location of the crocodile just follow the screen, I'll go over all of them.
Next up is Tooth Fairy. This is completed by returning Toothless's tooth to him. Uh, the tooth can be obtained through the water filtration system. The water filtration system will generate items every 6 to 30 hours and there is a random chance for this to be a pointy tooth which could be returned to Toothless. Of course, again using your Kremlet or Crocsbeak amulets. And finally we have Unlicensed Chiropractic, which is an achievement you get for doing the Agility Course Shortcut, where you jump over crocodiles. You only need one crocodile, but you can't go back, so you will have to complete the entire string of crocodiles. They are an event that appears approximately every 15 minutes, but if you're in the oasis long enough, you will surely find some eventually. Like for me, I did it when I was hunting the whirly gigs. With that, we have all the achievements in this category listed. If you want any more guides like this, or if you disliked it, please let me know in the comments. We'll be seeing you. Bye.